This is the Jason Walker Show. Two-time National Sports Media Association Montana Sportscaster of the Year and three-time loser, the Jason Walker Show. The best local and statewide sports coverage featuring the biggest guests from Montana. Flint Rasmussen uh, joining us here on the Jason Walker Show. He's freaking exhausting, too. You used to dance a lot more. Yeah, I know, lady. I'm 51 years old now. The NAI Hall of Famer Mike Van Deese joining us here Jason Walker Show. And is it just a deal where quarterbacks have to be good golfers? Well, that's all they have time for. They don't work out. They don't lift weight. <laughs> they don't do anything else. They might as well go get on the golf course at least have some fun. And from across the country. Doug Gottlieb, our guest here on the Jason Walker Show. End of the day, remember, it, it's your show. It's got your name on it. Howie Mandel, our guest here. Jason Walker, deal or no deal. The Jason Walker Show. Hey, what up? Happy Wednesday. Welcome. Jason Walker Show hanging out inside the Man Cave. You can watch on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Listen on Podbean, Network One Sports, iHeart Radio Podcasts, Apple, Google, everything. Spotify, Rumble, Anchor. Just go to jasonwalkershow.com, too. Make sure you check out Continental Divide Radio while you're there, our new radio station, bringing back the memories, the musical memories of your life. Oh, it's good stuff. The walk-up is brought to you by Montana Custom Log Homes, the premier log home company in the industry with three distinct divisions. So you can create the log home of your dreams and your budget. Check them out at yourcustomlog.com to get started today. Milled handcraft and timber frame. Uh, We're going to talk to an Air Force pilot, fighter pilot. Hazard Lee is going to join us coming up. Also, we're going to check in with Sheriff Leo Dutton for our annual Be Smart speech as we head into Memorial Day weekend. Uh, Let's start with uh, Athlon Sports preseason, way too early, football championship subdivision top 25. Uh, South Dakota State number one, the defending champs. North Dakota State number two, Montana State number three. And let's see, other Big Sky teams ranked, Idaho 7th, Montana's 10th, and then you have uh, UC Davis at number 14, 15th ranked Sacramento State, number 19, Weber State. The Grizz will play four of the preseason top five teams. They won't play Weber State this fall. Montana State will play all of the teams and on the road, except for UC Davis. So the Bobcats got a tough, tough schedule. And we'll talk more about that, obviously, once we get closer to football. We still haven't wrapped up high school. Spring sports yet. Uh, Let's see here. Billings Mustangs, the Pioneer League getting going. You uh, beat Missoula last night on a walk-off hit. Uh, Let's see. Rocky women's golf tied for sixth at the NAI National Championships. Tomorrow on the show, we'll talk to retiring Frontier Conference Commissioner Kent Paulson. Uh, So make sure you tune in for that tomorrow here on the uh, Jason Walker Show. Uh, Let's see, the Battle and Bear women tied for sixth. They are at TPC Deer Run uh, outside Chicago, Silvis, Illinois. Combined total of 310, tying uh, with Indiana Wesleyan, 17 strokes off the lead, British Columbia. Tyla Potguider, uh, four over 75, sits tied for 13th. Valentina Zaletta, 77, tied for 29th. Grace Metcalf tied for 50th with a 78. Claire Wright with an 80. And Cadence Fisher with an 81. Oklahoma City, British Columbia, and the Masters from California all have a golfer shooting even par yesterday. Michaela Terrell from Oklahoma City, British Columbia, Jessica Nig and Masters Hannah Ulibari all finished even par to sit on top of the leaderboard heading into final round action. No, second round action today. I think they play three days. Uh, let's see. What else? Uh, Montana. This affects Montana. No more one and one basketball uh, beginning next season. High school basketball teams, including Montana, will shoot two free throws for fouls, winning the bonus instead of the one-and-one one after seven. 
Rules changed, approved by the National Federation of State High School Associations. The Rules, Rules Committee, the NFHS Board of Directors. In addition to uh, two foul shots, teams will reach the bonus when the opponent commits five fouls. So it's, it's just like women's college hoops, which makes a lot of sense. And I think that's a great rule change. Uh, the Rules Committee studied data that showed higher injury rates on rebounding situations. So take out a free throw potentially. And it does help with the flow of the game. Women's basketball, I've always enjoyed it, always loved it. They've made a couple of rule changes recently that make it even better. And it's fantastic. So that's a, that's a good one. That's a great rule change for sure. Uh, what else did we see? I think that was about it as far as news. Took some, uh, oh, Pioneer League. Uh, Great Falls Voyagers got a win over um, Glacier 6-5 to five yesterday as well. So opening night of Pioneer League action. When golf yesterday shot uh, very well. If I could only shoot in pro-ams as well as I did yesterday, I'd be doing really well. I'd be really happy. Still working on the chipping. Putting starting to come back around. It takes a while. When you go from simulator golf to outside real golf, chipping and putting are the first couple, first couple ones that go away. And you have to re-bring re them back. So, working on that. Um, let's take a break. Because I want to get to our first guest. He is the sheriff of Lewis and Clark County. He is uh, Leo Dutton. Stopped by for a chat earlier this morning. As my daughter called him, she, she went to say the sheriff. She was getting ready for school this morning, and she goes, because I told her yesterday the sheriff was coming by the studio. And she goes, oh, do I get to meet him? And I said, no, I think you're going to leave for school before he gets here. So this morning, um, she was awake, went into the, uh, to bed to say good morning in her bedroom, and she goes, what time's the sherbert? I mean, the sheriff going to be here. So Sherbert Leo Dutton will be here in studio when we return. Walk up brought to you by Montana Custom Log Homes. Over 50 years experience, milled, handcrafted, timber frame, and they are fantastic. Uh, Veteran-owned, family-owned, woman-owned and operated. Check them out. Montana Custom Log Homes, your custom log to get started today. Sheriff, or Sherbert, Leo Dutton, next. Hang on. Strength, beauty, grit, superior craftsmanship. Our homes have it all. At Montana Custom Log Homes, if you can dream it, we can build it. With three divisions and over 50 years experience, we've got you covered. From a showcase home to a small cabin, we make your vision a reality. Because every cowboy wants a castle for his queen. Montana Custom Log Homes, crafting homes that last for generations. Yes, it's true that Montana is a long way from the Gulf Coast, but you can bring that Cajun flavor home with a stop at Cafe Zydeco. From po' boys to classic sandwiches, Cafe Zydeco has all the best Cajun in town. Are you in the mood for seafood gumbo or crawfish etouffee? Maybe you're craving jambalaya with some shrimp and grits. Head in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or call ahead for pickup or delivery. Cafe Zydeco will fix all your southern cravings, even on a chilly Montana day. Cafe Zydeco is a proud sponsor of the Jason Walker Show. I'm Brent Vegan, head football coach at Montana State. And this year at the Montana Pro Football Hall of Fame, we're doing more than just celebrating our very best. On Saturday, June 24th at the Billings Hotel and Convention Center, there will be a Speak Up Student Athlete Mental Health Symposium from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Prominent figures throughout Montana, such as Jim O'Day and Tommy Malott, will offer discussion and collaboration on how to better the mental health of our student athletes. After three Hall of Famers spoke up about their own mental health last year, it became apparent that we prioritize this topic at the Montana Pro Football Hall of Fame. Please join us on Saturday, June 24th, and for more information, go to the website mtfootballhof.com. Father's Day is coming fast, and what more would that great dad in your life want than a full detail from Auto Concepts? Or maybe he would just prefer a lift kit. It's also camping season, and now is the perfect time to outfit that rig with a winch just in case. Auto Concepts is your home for everything for your vehicle, including updating your car stereo system too. Auto Concepts also has gift certificates for dad or yourself. 
Visit AutoConceptsHelena.com. Auto Concepts, the auto enhancement professionals. Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. Through the good times and not so good, your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. Call State Farm agent Mike Miller in Helena today. Storewide savings are what you'll find when you shop for new home furnishings at Rutgers Furniture. This means tremendous values on Helena's largest in-stock selection of home furnishings. When you shop Rutgers, you'll find storewide savings on the furniture you want for every room in your home. And you'll also find our selection of Serta Eye Comfort, the most comfortable beds in Helena. 12-month financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over $299. Ask for details. You'll find storewide savings at Rutgers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. Welcome back to the Jason Walker Show. Welcome back, Jason Walker Show on a Wednesday. Hope you're having a good one. Or had a good one, depending on what time you're tuning this in. If you missed anything, as always, go to jasonwalkershow.com. All of our previous shows are up there. Got a new website in the works. And uh, we'll also include Continental Divide Radio. Our new radio station from uh, Jason Walker Media. Check it out. Music of your memories. It's pretty good. You can go from Elvis to Blink-182 and everything in between. Coming up, Hazard Lee will join us. Air Force fighter pilot, author, creator. That is on the way. But uh, earlier this morning, got a chance to sit down in the man cave with the man himself from Lewis and Clark County, the sheriff, Leo Dutton. He joins us now on the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline. All right, Sheriff, it is, uh, it is Memorial Day weekend, but before we talk about all that, how are you doing? Well, I'm not doing too bad. The uh, family's doing well, and I'm hanging in there. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yep. Is it still liking the job? I am. Yep. I'm blessed to have it. I'm honored to have it. I got a good crew that makes me look good. So <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm thankful for that. I, In fact, I ran into one of your deputies at the Joe Nichols concert, and he's going to come in, I think, next week. And, and he's got some program for veterans and, and for past law enforcement. Is it Enrico? Uh, yes, as a reserve deputy. Yes, yes. 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 So going to have yeah. him come in and excellent and chat a little bit. Okay. He's a, he's a good guy. Yes, he is. Yeah, <laughs> very nice. Um, and in re- he wasn't paying. I, I didn't pay him to say that. So, <laughs> um, all right. It is Memorial Day weekend, and I think what gets lost in in Memorial Day weekend, Sheriff, is people. It's a party weekend. It's a fun weekend. Yes. But we, we kind of lose what Memorial Day weekend is really all about. Let's, let's start there. Okay. Yes, we do lose what Memorial Weekend is all about, is the honoring of, of the uh, men and women in the military service. And that's what it's about. <clears throat> you can go out and put up flags. You can go out and do all kinds of things that you should show your patriotism. I know that some people... Uh, feel like, oh, well, that's not me. Mm-hmm. I've got to say that, you know, my dad is a World War II vet. And if it wasn't for the the vets of World War II, one, we may be speaking German or we may be speaking uh, Japanese. Yeah. So it, it, it does matter. Every day it matters about what they do. Here at home, we keep their... I tell them that uh, we got your six. We'll keep you safe, keep your family safe while you're over there fighting for us. And, and it is a fight. I mean, you leave your home, you leave all of the, <clears throat> the security that we have here in the United States, and you go out and you serve your country. Mm-hmm. So I, for one, appreciate that, and I know several others. But don't forget the meaning of it. It's not just a weekend off. Yeah, no, it's exactly. It's <clears throat> Sheriff Leo Dutton live in the man cave, and uh, <laughs> it's it's the same speech every year, but it feels like you have to give the same speech every year this time of the year. We're heading into the summer. The yeah. roads are good. Um, it's a party weekend. You start into the summer, like I said, but 
Don't be stupid. I uh, couldn't say that any better. Don't be stupid. The the idea of drinking and driving, driving while impaired, doesn't have to be drinking alcohol. Mm. It could be taking another substance, driving, or just getting, uh, having a few and deciding someone bugs you and you're going to let it rip and, and start uh, just being an irritating soul. Mm -hmm. And then that person has enough and they're going to turn around and uh, use your, uh, you're going to furnish the face for a fight. And it just does not end well. Now, I know I should be looking at all of the happy things, but mm -hmm. the title of this is Don't Be Stupid. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Let's start with bicycling. Bicycling, mm. still, you still have to stop for stop signs. You, I've seen that's going to get more people hurt than you can imagine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nice and early this morning. Yeah, yeah. So get the motor started. Uh, the other thing is I, I know people are uh, maybe need to hurry up and run over to the parts store and get a bunch of blinker fluid because I notice some of the blinkers are low. The mm. fluid must be low because they're not working. Uh, so remember to use your turn signal. Uh, if you're in the middle of an intersection, stopped, and people are staring at you, it's probably because you don't have your turn signal on. Those are just small things that are probably every day, but we're going to have an increased amount of traffic here. People are coming to the lakes. People are going to come here and see the Capitol, and they're going to, you know, they're, they're going to be nice. People that come here are visiting, so they're not coming here to rip up things. It's usually people that have some proprietary attitude that this is, this is my town. By God, you mm. better do this and that. No, be kind to strangers. Because one, they're coming in and they're supporting our economy. They're spending money and they, you know, they like to see what we have. So that's, that's a, an added plus. Don't drink and drive. Wear your seatbelt. I know I say this every time. I worked as an EMT paramedic for 24 years. And I can tell you, I've numerous times, I, take a, I took an axe or was part of a crew that took an axe and cut someone's head out of a windshield that went through, and it's called a guillotine. Your head goes through, but your body doesn't. So there's all kinds of damage from that. Please, in this day and age, airbags, the whole thing, wear your seatbelt. That will keep you alive in a substantial amount of crashes. It's just, we're talking about driving. Now let's talk about home life. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna sit home and drink, good. Have fun. Uh, do whatever you're going to do. Make some good food or, or taste some good food if you're a terrible cook uh, like me. Uh, I'm not terrible. I just enjoy my wife's cooking. Exactly. Yeah, you know, it's, I, uh, I can boil water and Ooh. you know that I could even talk on the phone while I do it. I think I deserve an M&M &M for that one. So anyway, uh, but remember, civility still in check. Mm -hmm. Don't start fighting. This is the weekend for domestic disturbances, things like that. Keep your paws to yourself. Uh, those, are, those are a big thing. You know, just conflict management is a huge issue in our county, our state, and our nation. It's, you don't have to just swing fists to to get your point across. Mm -hmm. Somebody may be needling you. I get it. I understand that. But try your best not to do that. You know, yeah. don't, don't be agitating and then call us. If you're the agitator in the whole thing and then call going, hey, he's going to beat me up. <clears throat> well, maybe you should have taken some of that pie hole and uh, <laughs> kept it full. Absolutely. Sheriff Leo Dutton joining us, uh, Lewis and Clark County Sheriff Leo Dutton. Um, how'd the um, wetsuit go last year with the jet skis? You know, it went well. I've reached the age now that the, uh, the team says, you know, Sheriff, we really appreciate you being here. And uh, we really appreciate you standing on the side and helping us be in <laughs> command. So I think that was a subtle hint that... Uh, the young, the young people have it, yep. and uh, so I don't go out on the calls now, but I can stand and bark from the edges. There you go. Um, they do a great job. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the, the wetsuit uh, was a challenge. You know, I, uh, 
we have uh, dry suits or somewhat dry suits and wet suits, but it did encourage me to lose weight. You know, anytime you're looking like the mission and tire man and uh, you're out there to save somebody and their, their first prayer is Lordy, please don't let that zipper break. Or we're all going to get whacked in the head. <clears throat> So, uh, well, I, and how, I mean, my brother's a deputy at Broadwater and yeah. they've got the new sheriff out there after when Meehan retired, but uh-huh. what's it like with Canyon Ferry and even on the roads, because we're so close to each other yeah. and you share a lot of we do. responsibilities. We have a great, uh, relationship with uh, the new sheriff and the, uh, the idea that we do share resources they have a patrol boat. We have jet skis. So we try to coordinate. Uh, we both have contracts with the BOR and we'll, uh, well, they'll, they'll let us know when they need some increased patrol, things like that. Mm-hmm. But for somebody who's down in a lake, you know, depending on where it is, such as the, uh, the diver that uh, just died last Saturday, that was ours, but it gets close down to where it's getting into the Broadwater County line. So you really got to get your GPS out and we never worry about it. Uh, it's just, if we start it and find out we're in Broadwater County, we're happy to call them and say, Hey, we've done some preliminary work for you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there you go. You still have yeah. to do the paperwork. Yeah. We, said we did it. Yeah. We we'll, started it. We'll for you. give you everything we got. There you go. You know, good job. There you go. Yeah. Sheriff Leo Dutton in town. Uh, one thing that's that's come up the last few months is protesting at the Capitol. Yes. It's it's everybody's legal right to do that. It is. Um, what what do you say to the people that are on the opposite side of whatever protest it is? Well, <clears throat> the Constitution says you have the right to peaceably assemble and protest your grievances. The key word there is peaceably assemble, assemble and protest your grievances. Mm-hmm. When it reaches past the point of peaceable assembly, then that's when we get involved. You can be on the sidewalk and protest all you want. You can come in the Capitol, hold signs, uh, but shouting and taking over a legislative session is not something that I would think either side wanted. They, it, People say, oh, they were just it was just shouting. Yes, they were. And they were throwing stuff over the balcony, and it was loud. And when the Speaker of the House, like him or not, said to the sergeant at arms, let's clear the gallery because they have now interfered with government, uh, government operations. Mm-hmm. And there's a specific law for that. But he chose not to do that. Anyway, just clear the gallery. So the people that were there... By and large, I found out later, we're not from Montana. The one we, the ones we arrested, I would say the Highway Patrol arrested, and we helped transport, uh, gave addresses in Missoula. I had said that six of them were from Missoula, one was from Great Falls. They gave the uh, address to the ACLU in uh, Missoula. It wasn't their home address, mm. but when you're running through a bunch of them booking, you don't know that. But nonetheless, uh, next time, because there will be a next time, we've talked about the chief, the Helena Police Chief and I, and what tactics we're going to employ that are different. Now, the Highway Patrol has the contract for security for the Capitol grounds. So we work with them on that. Uh, I think that uh, we'll, we'll all be in uniform next time. We don't need any specialized gear for something like that, but that's, that's hindsight. Mm-hmm. At the time, I was there. It, <clears throat> people were refusing to leave, and they were indignant, and they were using, you know, they were using FU, and uh, they, it, I, I just, I wonder when people say, well, they were just exercising their First Amendment rights. Yeah. Well, okay. It's true, you can sit there and call me an effing pig and all of those kind of things, but when you have been deemed that you're interrupting in a governmental function and you're told to leave and you F you, I'm not leaving, well, I'm telling you to leave, now I'm ordering you to leave and you F you, uh, that the pictures, of course, the pictures were that were in the paper were not good. Looked like we're, you know, the, the jackbooted thugs mm-hmm. whooping on them, but that wasn't the case. These people were actively resisting arrest. Mm-hmm. Uh, or active, they weren't arrested. They were being told to leave, and they weren't. So 
no matter where you fall in the situation, I got outside. Uh, one of the highway patrolmen asked me to take one of the arrestees out, which I did. And then the transport vehicles were supposed to be coming along. They, one did, and then there I wait. So then the rest of the highway patrolmen back inside. So I'm standing out there with the uh, the young gal. Uh, that's what she is. I know I got corrected, but yes. um, uh, okay, whatever you want to do. Uh, yep. Yep. That's that's your deal. But I I know she was very nice, very cooperative. Um, the, the pronoun thing, uh, I work, uh, we work in the detention center and you, you have to be real careful with that, but you, you can't put a, somebody with uh, female genitalia in a male pod because it's not going to end well. No. And they'll figure it out and things, bad things are going to happen. Now back to the protest, you have every right to make your opinion known, but once you interrupt government function, then we have to keep the peace. And that's my job is to keep the peace. I don't get on one side or the other. Mm-hmm. I keep the peace. Had the roles been reversed, say there was a... Uh, heavy Democrat, uh, say they had a super majority and the Republicans were protesting, they would want us to do the same thing. Mm-hmm. They would be appalled if we were interrupted. And that's that's what we do is keep the peace. That's what the Constitution says our job is, is to not take sides. And it's also to treat people with respect. Now, if you start fighting with the deputies and the officers, they're going to respond in kind. We're not the... Uh, Oh, uh, oh, or we're not the one that went on the uh, offense. We're pretty much defense. This got started. That that deal was planned. They were out in the foyer planning it. I had several people come and tell me they were planning. They knew what to do. They knew what was going to happen. It was all set up. So everybody but us knew. We were there because we'd heard that there would be an influx of people. Okay, that's fine. That's that's you're right. I mean, bring the buses you can peaceably assemble and protest. Yes. Uh, switch gears real quick. I know you got to run, but um, A, how's the coffee out of the Jason Walker Show mug, by the way? Not many people have one of those. I'm going to let you have that. Are you really? Yeah. Well, the coffee's good. Did you make it? I did. I did. Well, My wife even... showed me how okay. with, the, with the machine. That's, but... that's even more shocking in itself. <laughs> is that you pushed the button. I did. I did. I, pu- I pushed button. it down. She goes, you're going to break my machine. And I said, no, I'm not. Um, <laughs> firework season's coming up, too. Yes. And real quick, I wanted to touch on that because certain cities in this state have different rules. Where are we at in Lewis and Clark County as we head in? And I know it's, it could change with fire season it could where are we at right now as we head into uh the fourth of july coming up in a couple months so one of the things that we got to talk about is helena city helena city proper it's illegal to explode fireworks in the city limits okay okay in the county there are no regulations so uh, you could be in august uh, or any time what they had relied on is common sense and that quickly approaches its limits. So a lot of uh, a lot of fireworks. There is laws that say when you can sell them. Right. But when you ignite them, when you use them, there's no law. Okay. The laws that come into place are disturbing the peace, things like that. If you're if you're whooping it up, we we tend to we get a lot of calls when we tend to not respond. Uh, what do respond, but like on July 3rd or July 4th, when people are celebrating, I wish they would think about what they are celebrating. Mm-hmm. I really do. Because they're, they're having fun. They don't understand what independence and this holiday coming up have together. Yep. They really don't. And it sometimes saddens me. But it, back to your question, <laughs> you can still uh, ignite fireworks. If you start a fire, uh, we'll we'll work on finding out who did. We'll find witnesses in this day and ring cameras and all the cameras around. We've we've had a lot of success of finding people who lit off a firework that started a fire. You can start. I mean, you can light fireworks anytime. Your neighbors are going to have a, something to say about your your two in the morning and they got early day shift mm-hmm. and you just made a an enemy out of somebody who had been forgiving before because you took your rights and you pushed them on to other people mm. so yes we celebrate freedom 
and we should be celebrating responsibility and accountability because some people just think you know they've they've had a little bit of liquid courage and they they're having fun blowing things up or just blowing the fireworks up i'm not denying anyone fun but think about the neighbors think about the veterans who came back yeah. from a war zone and that's all they hear when they hear it they get a flashback think about that please if you know your neighbor has uh post-traumatic stress go someplace else yeah you know, go to a friend's be, yeah go to a friend's house uh, work with them. It's it's not an infringement on your rights at all. You're just being kind and just respectful. Some of the things we've lost in the country are just respectful. No one, no one wants to say you can't uh, explode the fireworks. Well, some people do, but yeah. nonetheless, there are places where they enjoy the freedom. They just have have issues for um, sacrifices they've made for the country. So keep that in mind. Keep pets in mind. Pets every year, every year, bar none. We have a bunch of dogs that run away because they are they are frightened and they go into a stress mode and they run away from the explosion. That's what they're supposed to do. They're not supposed to stay around and endure that. So we end up with lost dogs. Uh, Real quick, I met you, I think, 20 years ago when Helena flooded. Uh, sheriff Leadley was there. I think um, Cheryl was still the sheriff, but that's when I first met you. How are we looking as we head into now that the snowpack's starting to really, I guess, stay in the mountains? And this rain helps a little bit, but where are we at flooding-wise for, for May and June? You no, know, we're not bad. Uh, June is generally the, uh, the month that a lot of water comes down or toward the end of May because of the, the high country holes, the uh, the snow, which is a hallelujah, because you don't want it coming down early. But so far, the streams have been able to hold it. They're, they're full, but if we were to get a huge storm with a lot of rain, we would flood. But right now, with the temperatures cooling down somewhat at night, some of the snow dissipating, we're looking okay. okay. But if you have flooded before, Remember, you can flood again. Yeah. So please, please don't wait for us to come by and say, hey, uh, we'd like to come in and talk to you, but we can't wade through the water and we want to tell you it's flooding. So if it starts to rain hard, you know it has a likelihood of flooding if you live in a flood zone. If you live up by the Capitol and it's flooding, uh, look for Noah's Ark somewhere. Uh, <laughs> It's uh, probably probably went way high, yeah. but in the valley it floods. It's flooded. It's flooded before. Yep. Um, I know you got to run, so I'll let you go. But the moral of this conversation is: be responsible, be yes. respectful, have fun, but again, in a responsible way. Exactly. And please, please give honor to those who have served. I, I that's our serving. Yeah, our serving. I couldn't yeah. have said it best. Sheriff, always appreciate the time. Thank you. And uh, enjoy the cup Jason, of coffee. thank you. Yep. All right, take care. That is uh, Sheriff Leo Dutton joining us in the man cave a little bit earlier this morning, or as my daughter liked to call him, Sherbert. Instead of she, she, she just meant to say Sheriff. It came out Sherbert, but it was pretty funny. All right, quick break. We'll come back, and on the other side, we're going to chat with a United States Air Force fighter pilot and author of a new book that uh, I cannot wait to get to and read. Uh, Hazard Lee is going to join us when we come back. All of our guests appear via the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline. It's not just a bundle. It's your home, it's your auto, it's your life. Mike gets that. Get a hold of Mike Miller State Farm in Helena today. Air Force fighter pilot Hazard Lee will join us next. And what's it like to go 1,500 miles per hour? We'll find out next here on the Jason Walker Show. Storewide savings are what you'll find when you shop for new home furnishings at Rucker's Furniture. This means tremendous values on Helena's largest in-stock selection of home furnishings. When you shop Rucker's, you'll find storewide savings on the furniture you want for every room in your home. And you'll also find our selection of Serta Eye Comfort, the most comfortable beds in Helena. 12-month financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over $299. Ask for details. You'll find storewide savings at Rucker's Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. Everyone knows about Dinners Done Right and the convenience of the cook and carry cuisines. It's so easy to just stop by and you have something for dinner that night. But there's also one more thing you need to know about. Dinners Done Right Grab and Go Salad Bar. Yes, I said salad bar. Always the freshest ingredients along with a daily soup and nacho bar too. 
So the next time you are in a rush or you just want to eat healthy, stop by Dinner's Done Right for the soup, salad, and nacho bar. For monthly menus and more info, it's dinnersdoneright.com. Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. Through the good times and not so good, your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. Call State Farm agent Mike Miller in Helena today. Father's Day is coming fast, and what more would that great dad in your life want than a full detail from Auto Concepts? Or maybe he would just prefer a lift kit. It's also camping season, and now is the perfect time to outfit that rig with a winch just in case. Auto Concepts is your home for everything for your vehicle, including updating your car stereo system too. Auto Concepts also has gift certificates for dad or yourself. Visit AutoConceptsHelena.com. Auto Concepts, the auto enhancement professionals. I'm Bobby Howe, head football coach of the Montana Grizzlies. And this summer at the Montana Pro Football Hall of Fame, we're doing more than celebrating Montana's best. On Saturday, June 24th at the Billings Hotel and Convention Center, there will be a Speak Up Student Athlete Mental Health Symposium from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Prominent figures throughout Montana, such as Jim O'Day and Tommy Mallott, will offer discussion and collaboration on how to better the mental health of our student athletes. After three Hall of Famers spoke about their own mental health last year, it's become apparent that we prioritize this topic at the Montana Pro Football Hall of Fame. Please join us on Saturday, June 24th. And for more information, go to the website mtfootballhof.com. Strength, beauty, grit, superior craftsmanship. Our homes have it all. At Montana Custom Log Homes, if you can dream it, we can build it. With three divisions and over 50 years experience, we've got you covered. From a showcase home to a small cabin, we make your vision a reality. Because every cowboy wants a castle for his queen. Montana Custom Log Homes, crafting homes that last for generations. Yes, it's true that Montana is a long way from the Gulf Coast, but you can bring that Cajun flavor home with a stop at Cafe Zydeco. From po' boys to classic sandwiches, Cafe Zydeco has all the best Cajun in town. Are you in the mood for seafood gumbo or crawfish etouffee? Maybe you're craving jambalaya with some shrimp and grits. Head in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or call ahead for pickup or delivery. Cafe Zydeco will fix all your southern cravings, even on a chilly Montana day. Cafe Zydeco is a proud sponsor of the Jason Walker Show. Summer, the season to work hard, play hard. The days are heating up and getting longer. The smell of fresh cut grass, the hot sun on your skin. <laughs> we kidding. We all know you're really thinking about having fun and relaxing at the Copper Club Casino. Meet your friends for a cold one. Play a fiver or two. When you want great service, cold drinks, and fun entertainment, this is the place. The Copper Club Casino, where everybody knows your name any time of year. On Euclid, across from Lundy Center, the Copper Club Casino. This is the Jason Walker Show. Welcome back. Final segment on a Wednesday. Jason Walker Show. Don't forget tomorrow, retiring Frontier Conference Commissioner Kent Paulson will join us. We'll have our Montana Rodeo Roundup tomorrow as well. Get you set for uh, the rodeo weekend as you head into Memorial Day. And much more tomorrow here on the Jason Walker Show. This segment brought to you by Copper Club Casino. Stop in for hot games, warm staff, and cold drinks. Drink. And gamble responsibly. Well, it is Memorial Day weekend. Saturday was Armed Forces Day. It is Military Appreciation Month. And who better than an Air Force fighter pilot to join us? Talk about a new book he's got coming out. And what's it like to go 1,500 miles per hour and all of that. Plus flying the new F-35. It's like a $2 billion project. Hazard Lee joins us now here on the Jason Walker Show. I uh, appreciate you joining me. Um, I'm very intrigued by your career. I know you got a book coming out this month. We'll talk about that here in a second called The Art of Clear Thinking. But 
What made you want to be a fighter pilot in the first place? You know, when I was five years old, I went to an air show. And this was back in the day when you could sit in the cockpit of an F-15 and F-16. So I hopped in the cockpit, put on the helmet, looked like a bobblehead on me. <laughs> but after that, I was absolutely hooked and uh, just been uh, laser focused ever since. Tell me about the training you had to go through. Yeah, the training for the Air Force is incredible. So they take somebody who's never flown before, and within a couple of years, you're flying combat missions on the other side of the world. So I started off at the Air Force Academy, went there for four years, was able to get a pilot spot. After that, went and flew the T-6 Texan II. It's almost like a P-51 Mustang, so a high-performance prop plane. Uh, it's, I, I loved it. it. It was like combining sports and school together. I was never a great student. Uh, I was an okay athlete. I, I played collegiate uh, baseball as well as uh, box, as an intercollegiate boxer. But I, it really clicked uh, during pilot training because it combined those two aspects. I got selected to fly the T-38, a supersonic jet trainer. And then from there, selected to fly the F-16. Uh, it's basically a stripped down hot rod. It's what the Thunderbirds fly. And then uh, midway through my career, I transitioned to the F-35, the, the latest supersonic self fighter. And I was reading that, uh, that you can uh, explain, okay, I, I don't know how to phrase this, but you can see your body through the F-35 mask or helmet? Yeah, so the um, F-35 has incredible technology. So for, we don't have a heads-up display. All the instrumentation, everything goes into our helmet. So as we look around, it's true augmented reality. When I look off to my side, I can see all the, the good guys, all my wingmen, all the information I need and it follows them as they fly around with the bad guys. I can see all the uh, information I need with symbols over them and it follows the bad guys around. And then at night we have six mid-wave IR cameras that sees in pitch black and it stitches all that information together. So at night I can turn on uh, this system and you can actually see through your body because it's using the cameras on the exterior of the jet. So pretty incredible technology. That is crazy. He's flown 82 combat missions. His name is Hazard Lee. He's the author of the new book, uh, The Art of Clear Thinking. Why now to write a book and and take me through the process of writing the book and, and why you wrote it? Yeah, so we just, we in the Air Force, we have a lot of institutionalized knowledge. Basically, if you boil my job down is to make decisions, thousands of decisions each fight, often with incomplete information and lives on the line. So decision-making is a universal skill that applies to everybody. It's not taught in schools. So what I wanted to do with this book is get that information out there. We've been on the leading edge for the last 50, 50 years with decision-making. I wanted to get the information out there to help people make better decisions. It's more important than ever now. As a fighter pilot, I'm I'm augmented. My decisions are augmented with technology. So I'm thousands of times more capable when I'm in the suit of technology than I am on my own. So that's true for all of us. Now our phone allows us to do far more than we could in the past. Same with your computer, your car. So it's important to be able to make good decisions because that's a critical skill, especially with leadership moving forward. Talking with Hazard Lee, he's the author. He's also a USAF uh, fighter pilot, 82 combat missions, four air medals. The only pilot to ever fly two different types of jets in combat on the same day. How'd that happen? Yeah, that was the last uh, mission I flew in Afghanistan because we had a, a squadron from Aviano, Italy, F-16 Block 40s that were replacing us. So we were flying their jets while our jets were being prepped to, to fly home. And so got into a firefight, uh, dropped all my ordnance within 10 minutes, and there wasn't another pilot available for another four hours. So got on the SATCOM, the headquarters, and they said, fly back as fast as you can. We'll have another jet ready for you to take back into combat. So plugged into the afterburner, uh, you know, 30-foot flame shooting out of the back of my jet, flew back, flew back home hopped into the F-16 Block 50, which is a different jet, different software, uh, and uh, flew that back into combat and employed with it. That is crazy. I guess you probably used a lot of the, was it Ace Helix? Is that what you assess, choose, and execute? Is that, that kind of went into it that day? Yeah, correct. So that's one of the, the important concepts in the book. I, I boil down decision-making to something simple that everybody can use because we're making split-second decisions. We're also making decisions we're planning these missions sometimes days, months, even years into the future. So that's a lot like project management. So 
uh, yeah, I boil it down into being able to assess the problem in front of you, choose the correct course of action, and execute. So make it pretty simple. Hazard Lee, our guest here on the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline. When you're making those decisions in the air, it's 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 really less than split second decision, right? Sometimes it's split second. Sometimes you have a couple minutes to make the decision. So that's one of the concepts in the book I talk about is really focusing on the, on the amount of time you have. So a lot of us get uh, stuck when there's a lot of options. It's analysis by uh, or paralysis by analysis. So sometimes if it's a very important decision, you want to be able to, uh, to focus on it a little bit more. But a lot of times we're all inundated with far more decisions to make than we have time for, especially with social media, especially with meetings and invites. There's a lot of noise out there. So a lot of times it makes sense just to make those decisions as, uh, as quickly as possible and get them off your plate so you can focus on the important ones. I've seen their shows. I, you know, I've seen the Thunderbirds. I've, I've seen the Blue Angels. You guys fly, or those guys fly so close together. I think I read one time, 18 inches from wing to wing at one point. I mean, that's yeah, some critical really decision making. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I, I talk in the book about flying back from Afghanistan. You're, I was flying over the Atlantic six aircraft all refueling off a tanker and it was really poor weather. So we had to be tucked in for, for hours at a time with just a few feet of separation from our wings from this tanker, which is essentially a passenger aircraft filled with fuel. That is, that is, that's just mind boggling. Um, 1500 miles an hour in the air, your, your jet starts rattling. What's that like? Yeah, so that was a that was an interesting experience. So uh, I was testing an engine on an F-16, and the last step is a maximum speed run to make sure that everything's good to go. So I went up to 25,000 feet, went to a full afterburner. So we have two different types of engines on the jet. One is kind of like an airliner jet. The other is essentially a flamethrower. You're just dumping fuel in it and lighting it. 30-foot flame comes out of the back of your jet. Plugged in the full afterburner. It's got up to 50,000 feet. You can see the curvature of the Earth at that altitude. You can also see the sky is a little bit darker. Then I uh, bunted the jet over, started diving it to go a little bit faster. At about 1.6 Mach, the jet really started shaking. Uh, it's due to a, a, an engineering design issue with the F-16, but I was able to power through it. And at 1.9 Mach, so going 1,500 miles an hour, everything smoothed out. And I could feel this heat radiating on my face. Oh. And so I took my hand off the, uh, the throttle, had a Nomex glove on it, and put it up near the canopy. And it was heat radiating through the canopy from the friction of going so fast. Okay. I know you probably hear this question a lot. It's air force versus Navy, but top gun. I, I mean, Mach nine, what's the fastest anybody's gone? Mach 20. So I was just with a friend of mine who uh, was the space shuttle pilot who coming in. They, they flew Mach okay. 20. As, as far as fighters, really uh, it's Mach two is the fastest they can fly. You took one to Mach 9. In, in Top Gun? No, you did. No, no, I, I took one to Mach 1.9. Oh, 1.9. Oh, nine. okay. So, oh, it's so, like... so about <laughs> twice the speed of sound. Okay, okay. Yeah, Mach 9, Top Gun is in, is in uh, yeah, that, that part wasn't quite accurate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how many UFOs have you seen? Well, you know, define UFOs. So I see a lot of stuff out there. I don't know where it's from. I can't explain it, but it's like, Taking a road trip when you're flying, when you're driving across the country, you see glints of light here and there, but you're you know usually just focused on getting to where you need to go. So same thing flying, you see a lot of things out there that you, you know on the radar and, and with your eyes, glints of light, stuff like that. They're probably just weather balloons as we've seen in the last couple months. Uh, as far as flying saucers and aliens, I, I haven't seen any of those yet. Is that the politically correct answer? <laughs> I, I'm just being honest. No, I, 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 I saw a UFO. I, I, I'd be, I, I would love to see a UFO out there. I think that'd be incredible. Uh, but I have seen a bunch of, you know, little things, but nothing, nothing that I can say. It, this is an alien. Hazardlead.com is where you can pre-order his book. It is the art of clear thinking. He is one of the top instructor pilots and uh, with the Air Force. What's next for you? What's the career path for, for Hazard Lee? Well, I, I just love getting this book out there. I think it's really helping a lot of people. It's been a bestseller for Barnes & Noble, number one bestseller on Amazon. 
Uh, I've been really surprised. People are really buying the book a lot for veterans. It's Memorial Day coming up. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's graduation season, so people are buying the book uh, for uh, new graduates. And what surprised me is Father's Day is around the corner. And actually, you know, I can see it. Being a fighter pilot is a lot like being a father. Minimal sleep, a lot of chaos, incomplete information. So, uh, so yeah, people are really gifting it for that. So I really just love being able to share some of these experiences with uh, people out there and help them to make better decisions. Are you going to space anytime soon? Not anytime soon. I think, I think we all are going to be uh, going to space. It's going to be a lot easier with Blue Origin and SpaceX, but, uh, but I'm, I'm going to be, you know, flying fighters is fun enough for me. Well, best of luck with the book. It's called the art of clear thinking. You can order it at hazardly.com. That's with an S and appreciate the time, continued success. And thank you very much for your service. My son's in the army right now. And, and uh, he, he's a crew chief on a Blackhawk. So he's got a little bit of flying experience, not quite like yours, but. Um, well, well tell, please tell him thank you for me. The, the, uh, the maintainers are the hardest workers in the military. They're doing the, the dirty, dangerous job, crawling through the intakes. So please, please tell him thank you for me. I will. I hey, appreciate the time and uh, best of luck with the book and, and your career. Thank you. Pleasure. Hazard Lee joining us on the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline, hazardlee.com, and that is H-A-S-A-R-D-L-E-E.com. Uh, that was a fun conversation. Appreciate, uh, appreciate him uh, joining us uh, and uh, looking forward to reading that book, The Art of Critical Thinking. Or The Art of... Now I can't remember. Anyway, check it out, hazardlee.com. Uh, let's do On This Day in History. It is May the 24th. It is uh, 2023. There's a lot today. Uh, National Scavenger Hunt Day. It's like everyday golfing. Brothers Day today. Aviation Maintenance Technician Day. Uh, Yucatan Shrimp Day. Emergency Medical Services for Children Day. And National Escargot Day. Snails. My wife, on our honeymoon, we went to, uh, there was like, five, six different restaurants at the place we were at. And we tried to hit each one. We hit one a couple of times because it was so good. But we went to a French restaurant. She made me try escargot. It's a snail, folks. It is absolutely disgusting. I had one. And it reminded me of a uh, Rocky Mountain oyster. Kind of a little chewy. And... Um, was not real good, not real good. But I tried it. I tried it for the for the for the new wife, the bride, on our honeymoon. But I will never have escargot again, ever. Uh, let's see what happened on this day, nineteen eighteen. Cleveland starter Stan Kovaleski sets the club record for most innings pitched, nineteen in a complete game. Nineteen twenty nine. Chicago White Sox pitcher Ted Lyons, Detroit's George Uli, go twenty one innings. Pitching. 1930, Yankees Babe Ruth homers in both games of a doubleheader sets a record of nine home runs in a week. 1935, the first Major League Night Baseball game in Cincinnati, 2-1. to one. The Reds beat Philly. It was supposed to be the night before, but it got rained out. 1936, Tony Lazeri hit two grand slams, had 11 RBI. Ben Chapman set a record by reaching base seven times safely in a Yankee 25-2 to two win over the A's. A uh, happy birthday today, Radar O'Reilly, Corporal Walter Radar O'Reilly. Gary Berghoff, born on this date, 1943, the actor from MASH. And Priscilla Presley, the Naked Guns, played Jenna in Dallas. Um, also, yeah, there's that guy she was married to, Elvis. 1945, she was born on this date in Brooklyn, New York. Let's see, anything else happen? Uh... On this date in history, I don't think so. Anything that super big, anyway. Um, there's some battles. First telegraph message was sent on this date. No, it's 17, 18 something. Brooklyn Bridge opened on this date. Uh, Lowell's Observatory. That's about it as far as the big stuff. Yeah, that works. 
All right. Let's do this. We're almost at the end of the show. What did we learn? And what did he miss? Time for the walk-off. Walk-off presented by Cafe Zydeco, where the Big Easy meets the Big Sky. Don't forget, you've got state tournaments getting underway across the state of Montana this week. And uh, you've got tennis, track and field, and softball. Looking forward to uh, the end of the high school spring sports season. And uh, getting ready. It's a short summer, everyone. It's a short summer. So enjoy this weekend of high school sports. It wraps up Saturday across the state. But uh, definitely enjoy it as much as you can. For sure. Uh, let's see. Did we miss anything? I don't think so. I think we got it all in pretty good today. Thanks to uh, the good sheriff, Leo Dutton, for stopping by. Appreciate that. Also, Air Force fighter pilot Hazard Lee got a new book out, hazardlee.com. We'll do it again tomorrow. We'll talk to Frontier Conference Commissioner who retires at the end of June. Kent Paulson will join us. We'll have a Montana Rodeo Roundup, get you set for all the state tournaments, and much more. Make sure you go to Continental Divide Radio. Just go to jasonwalkershow.com. Click on Continental Divide Radio. The memories of your musical past. For the music of your memories. Check it out, jasonwalkershow.com. Thanks all of our great fans and our fantastic sponsors. We'll see you back here. Jason Walker Show tomorrow. Have a great, great Wednesday. The Jason Walker Show is produced by the Jason Walker Media Company. Any reuse, rebroadcast, or retransmission without the express written consent of the Jason Walker Show is strictly prohibited. Just listen, watch, and enjoy.